In today's video, the first of the Axie Infinity Fundamentals series, I will tell you a little bit about Axie classes and why they're important. Please join me. I hope you enjoy. And here we are again. My name is Triple A, and I am the founder of Axie Archipelago Ascension. I am making this video here today to teach you some of the fundamentals of axes themselves. All of this is important information, not necessary to play the game, but necessary to be very good at the game, and that's what we want. This is the first in the series, and we are going to talk about the classes of axes. One thing that I want to say here at the beginning is that Axie Infinity is a game in progress. It is often said by the devs and by fans of the game that it is a game that is still in alpha at this stage, and it is maybe 15% of the way done. We are playing just the beginning stages of this game. Many of the things that I will discuss today will be changing in the future, probably not fundamentally changing, but will have additional content added in the future. I am going to point that out as I go over these fundamentals. I am going to point out areas where I think it is very likely that the devs of Axie Infinity will add content in the future. Let's get started by looking at the marketplace. I have this set up for all of the axes in the game. There are 6.42 million axes in the game right now. It's a lot of axes. It's kind of amazing how many there are, and in my opinion, how many there are going to be in the future. The first aspect of axes that I want to talk about today is the class. You can see here on the left, class, there's a class section for the axes. Each axe is a member of one of nine classes. Class is basically the body type of the axe. You can usually tell by taking a look at it what class it is, but the absolute way to figure out is to look at the mark right there. For example, this one has a little fish mark. That means it's an aqua. This one has a plant mark. That means it is a plant. This one has a feather mark. That means it's a bird. So you can kind of guess by looking at them, aquas kind of tend to be blue or white. Plants tend to be green. Birds tend to be pink. But there are, you can't always tell that way because uh, there are oddball ones. Uh, you can always tell by that mark. So make sure that you remember these nine marks. They're off here on the left. Because when you play the game, it won't say, you know, this is a plant. You have to look at the mark. It will have the mark next to the axi, and so you know that it's a plant. And that can be important because your attack will do different amounts of damage depending on the class. That's another subject which I will go into in a future video. So today I just want to talk about these nine classes. First of all, six of the classes have their own body parts and their own cards. Three of them borrow body parts and cards from those first six. So I want to make a distinction between the six with their own parts and the three without parts. And I want to say that these three without the parts are almost certainly it's an area that will be expanded on by the devs in the future. So right now those three do not have their own body parts. They don't have their own cards, but I think they will in the future. This is an area that will be expanded upon. So keep an eye out for that. So let's look at the six with their own body parts. They're over here. It's beast, plant, bug, aquatic, bird, and reptile. Those are the six. Of those six, five of them are very, very popular. You see all the time. Bug is actually not so popular. You don't see it very often. Uh, but I'll explain that when we get to the bug. Let's start with the most popular of the axes, which is the plant axi. So here we have the plant. You can see there are 1.92 million out of 6.4. So that's uh, that's like almost 30% of all axes are plants. So the hallmark of the plant is its staying power. They are hard to kill. They have high hit points and a lot of defensive cards like shield cards or healing cards. They're a little bit tough to kill. 
they tend to be used in a team they tend to be used as the very front line as like a shield that's called a tank that's hard to get through almost every team has a plant it's a it's a little bit rare to, to run across a team that doesn't have any plants that's the only class that's in almost every single team and it's very popular in our teams right now this might change in the future but right now all of our teams start have a, a plant in the front so this is a class that you will become very very familiar with over your career now the second most popular axie and again another one which we use which we rely on ex extensively right now in AAA is aquatic now these are the aquas you can see there are 1.7 almost one almost 1.8 million aquas just a little bit less popular slightly less popular than the plants they are denominated by this little fish mark and aquas they don't have quite as many hit points as the plants so they're a little bit easier to kill but they're still pretty tough and they are fast but they're not as fast as, they're not the fastest class there are there is at least one class that's faster uh, almost always but they're kind of fast or they're pretty fast and they are uh, they're pretty tanky although not a little bit hard to kill and uh, they have some great cards some great firepower cards this is a very very well balanced class and very popular and right now in aaa and AAA in our group we use a lot of aquas it's very likely that you will have two aquas on your team very this is a very popular class really well balanced very popular very high quality class so next i think probably beast maybe is the most popular let's take a look at beast beast has yeah 1.13 million beasts uh i think this is probably the third most popular maybe bird or beast i'm not sure let's say beast now beast is a killing machine they have they're very aggressive they have very high power attack cards but they tend to be a little bit weak they get they get killed real easily not very fast you know medium medium speed low hit points very high attack so you'll see a lot of beasts when you play arena and be careful because they can they can kill you with three cards or four at the most but sometimes three or four they are tough they are tough they're tough to play against they're not tough to kill because you know you can just you can just bang them out you can just get rid of them really quickly they are uh, strong competitors and they're popular and in the future this will be yeah the next expansion of our breeding line will be into beasts i think because i quite like these cards even though they are they're a little bit weak in the sense that they don't have any staying power generally speaking in my in my experience when i watch someone play with a beast the beast will maybe get off one kill and then or one attack round and then they get killed off pretty quickly so the plant the tank in front of the beast gets killed and then the beast gets killed the very next round because it just doesn't take much to kill them. but all the same very nice class i think the next one what is this 1.13 million i think birds are slightly less popular they are no considerably less popular birds are at just over half a million this is our fourth most popular and you can see we've gone down from plant which almost had two million plants in the game and there's about half a million of the birds so take quite a step down in popularity birds are, are again it's a class you see all the time uh they're very popular they tend to be backliners because they are they're they're very slight they're easily taken down they have very low hit points they are the fastest class so they will usually be the fastest in the game in whatever match that they they're participating in and they they have good attack cards but one thing that's uh, unique about this class and makes it popular is that they have a lot of cards that allow them to attack out of order. What I mean by that is, generally speaking, when you attack the enemy Axie team, you hit the one that's in front, the closest one. But birds have a lot of cards that allow them to hit the back one or hit the fastest one, or they have a lot of ways of skipping past that tank. And that can be really, really tough to play against because you see a bird there in the back, it's hard to get to it. You gotta, it's the last one there. You, you have to get through two other axes to finally get to attack the bird and by that time they may have already 
destroyed your back line or something. They've skipped past your tank. They've gone to one of your weaker axes that you don't have shielded. And they can be very powerful if they're played well. The reason that birds are a little bit less popular, in my opinion, is that they're hard to play correct. They're very powerful when prey when played correctly, but they're hard to play correctly because you have to have the timing just perfect. You really have to have a good sense as a player. You have to have a good sense of what your opponent is going to do this round, how many energy they have. They can be very, very powerful, but it takes a lot of skill to play them correctly. And if you don't have the skill, they just they're, they just die very quickly and they're not very useful. Anyway, so that's the bird. And the fifth one, I think, is slightly less popular than the bird. It's probably the reptile. Yeah, just under half a million is a reptile. Now, reptile, as a class, have relatively high hit points. Not as high as a plant, but pretty high. They are slow, and they don't have a great deal of attacking cards. But what they have are these really annoying... To, when you play against them annoying these really tricky cards they have a lot of cards that cause poison stun fear a lot of effects cards that are make play very very difficult so the the famous terminator build which is very popular right now is not always but is usually a reptile and it's a good card it's tough to play against there's a lot of them out there you, you will often run into a reptile the strength of the reptile as a class is it's relatively high hit points and it's very tricky card set it's actually not that i wouldn't say it's that difficult to play because you kind of play the same if you have a terminator you just play the same four cards every single time boom 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 it's without thinking kind of it's kind of thoughtless for the most part but anyway the last one of the six with unique uh, body parts is the bug and look so reptile is the the fifth most popular at just under half a million and we're going to see a big drop down to bug which is not popular at all 86,000 that's it in fact the dusk is more popular so we take a big jump down when we go to bug we go go from almost half a million to down to less than a hundred thousand and that's a good question i'm not exactly sure why the bug is not so popular my guess is that it's going to get some buffs sometime soon to make it more popular because i'm sure that the fact that this is such an un uncommon and unpopular class that has come to the attention of the devs and they're going to do something to try to fix it i would expect what often we will see is these bug parts body parts on other classes so it's very popular to have uh, nemo aqua uh, with an uh, aqua with a nemo tail and this to have this sandal card because it's very it's kind of a high damage and high 110 damage with 50 shield is actually quite good so it's not unusual to see bug parts this snail shell you see that all the time that's enormously popular this is gravelant this is a um, one that you see very often this one pincher is a really good one you see that around you just don't tend to see them on bugs you tend to see them on other classes but again bugs not super popular right now although a lot of the parts the, sh the parts are quite popular the body parts are popular so you see a lot of the body parts on other classes this is something that i think where axie will be changing sometime in the future i'm i'm pretty sure okay finally we've got three more classes that is the mech dawn and dusk these three classes don't have their own body parts and therefore don't have their own cards now i'm going to explain about body parts and cards in a future video i want to keep this one short the thing to remember is that these three the mech dusk and dawn use bug plant beast aqua bird and reptile body parts let's take a look i think the most popular is a dusk dusk is often a stand-in for for the for a reptile it can also be kind of tanky dusks are i guess they're getting more popular than they used to be but all the same they're still maybe the sixth most popular of the classes you know they have advantages so their body type affects their statistics a little bit differently there are some advantages to use using a dusk rather than a reptile for example with the exact same body parts which i will explain more thoroughly when we talk about the stats dusk is relatively popular i think the next one is mech mech's about the same popularity as bug about forty-eight thousand. 
And the finally last one is Dawn, which is not so popular at all, less than 10,000. This, These three right here, Mech Dusk and Dawn, are very likely to be future expansions. We're going to see in the future the dev team using these three to expand new body parts and new cards to make the game even deeper and more complicated than it is now. But for the moment, you will see them from time to time, especially the Dusk. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a Dawn, to tell you the truth, but you'll see a Dusk and a Mech from time to time. Hopefully that is a clear explanation of these classes. I think the most important thing for you to do right now is remember these marks, okay? These are going to become more and more important as you become become a better player. So remember these symbols for aqua bird, reptile, and so on and so forth. That is all for this video. Until next time, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Just keep fighting.